Fighting frequently with your partner can cause serious relationship stress. It's possible for love and conflict to both influence your relationship. To get along with your loved one, you may need to strike the perfect balance and learn how to argue effectively. Why do we fight in relationships? Over the course of a relationship, arguments between partners can be about a wide range of topics. The following conflicts are the most frequent ones that prevent us from having harmony, love, and happiness with our spouses. Money issues are frequently the hardest for people in relationships to solve. Both are vying for few resources when money is scarce. Each person may have their own opinions on how much money should be saved and spent, even when there is plenty to go around. Money by itself does not satisfy a fundamental human need. However, without it, it can be challenging to meet your needs for food, water, and shelter. Because of this, feeling like you have little control over your finances might leave you feeling very exposed. Household chores. There was considerably less friction in the past when the majority of women took care of the housekeeping and the majority of men went off to work. Partners now have to agree on who does what. Some people still adhere to the dated belief that women should perform the majority, if not all, of the work. Sometimes neither spouse wants to take charge. Housework is often seen as humiliating and unpleasant because it is traditionally seen as women's work. However, it must be completed. Partners frequently wind up blaming each other for the disaster created when this isn't the case. Problems might arise even in free time, such as what to do with it. Do you prioritize spending time with your partner over your own interests? You still need to come to an agreement on the activity if you choose to do something together. Spending time with each other can be enjoyable and unwinding. It can foster more cohesion, love, happiness, and tranquility. Instead, some couples end up fighting over the type of activity they'll engage in, the location, and who they'll bring with them. Vacations can often be challenging, both to arrange and to actually take. Physical intimacy, how you and your partner develop physical intimacy is based on your personal characteristics. For instance, one individual might prefer more traditional sex, but another person would love experimenting with it. You might both enjoy cuddling, but you might not. Conflict may arise depending on how you handle these differences. Personal preferences. Arguments between partners can arise over even the most trivial issues. We argue over things like how to stack dishes in the dishwasher, how to hang toilet tissue over or under, and how much gas to put in the car. Although there may not actually be a right or wrong method to go about doing these things, we all have preferences for the small things in life, which can lead to conflict. Most people prefer to live in harmony with their mate. The balance of daily living might be thrown off by a relationship that has ups and downs all the time. When you are in love, your happiness and the happiness of another person are interdependent. So why do we even fight? Why don't we just quit creating a stir? Are fights in every couple? Not all pairs fight. Many people appear to be in agreement. But given that no two people always want the same things, that might also not always be healthy. Disagreements inevitably arise during the course of a partnership. If partners. If you don't resolve the issue, animosity could grow. A extremely dysfunctional relationship, marked by emotional distance and passive-aggressive behavior, could form between the pair. Benefits of arguing, by engaging in effective argumentation, you can bring your differences to light and resolve them in a direct and sincere manner. You can create a strong foundation of peace, love, and understanding if you go about it the right way. The course of an argument, 
Most arguments take a similar path. You have the chance to work toward a satisfactory conclusion in each section of an argument. Challenge. A challenge is how a discussion begins. When someone has a complaint, they let their partner know what it is. Choose one of these options. The challenge can be stated as an allegation. If you do, a terrible battle is about to break out. The alternative is to approach your lover in a sincere and delicate manner. Tell them what's wrong and act as though you can all work together to resolve the issue at hand. Afterward, allow them some time to hear what you've said and reflect on it. Opposition. If the other party accepts, apologizes, and proposes a workable solution, the argument might end. They might keep up the conflict and opposition if they don't do these things. The dispute becomes ugly when the opposition uses derogatory terminology. By expressing your opinion in a reasonable and kind manner, you can prevent that. Keep in mind that this is your loved one, not a rival for the dispute. Respect their feelings and engage in fair combat. When you realize that your partner disagrees with your appraisal of the issue, it can be tempting to respond aggressively. You can then refute whatever they have claimed at that moment. The discussion might be extended to cover more points of contention. When all you wanted to do was settle a single area of contention, before you know it, you're re-evaluating the entire relationship. Resolution. You can work to come to a resolution that is agreeable to both of you if you keep your attention on the argument's main subject. However, if you're more focused on winning the debate, you might never bring up the genuine problem. Better ways of fighting. You can develop more powerful fighting techniques. An argument that results in harmony and understanding between the partners is considered to be effective in the setting of a relationship. Start with agreement. There is nothing wrong with bringing up a topic with your partner if you are upset about their perspective on an instance, a certain conduct, or a particular idea. But be gentle with it. Start with a point of agreement. If you both agree that you need a car, for instance, you can move forward with that agreement. To understand, listen. We respond to our partner's difficulties much too frequently by listening to them dispute. But you need to listen with the intention of hearing what they're saying and comprehending it as best you can if you want to settle the dispute in a way that brings you closer together. Avoid, never, and, always. It's crucial to keep your challenge and response reasonable. When you make absolute statements like, always, or, never, you not only overstate your points but also make yourself less credible. Keep your eyes on the present. After describing a current issue, avoid the pitfall of bringing up previous issues. You could believe that proving your point will use these previous pains. Typically, they don't. They are more likely to pull you apart, though. Forgive the past, and focus on the current state of your relationship. Putting this mindfulness into practice will help you stay together as well as get closer. Think about underlying problems. Your partner can appear unduly agitated over a minor issue. If so, think about whether they might have a deeper issue that worries them. Although they can grumble about mowing the grass, their frustration may actually be caused by having to manage chronic discomfort. Recall the reason you entered the relationship. Why exactly are you with your partner? If your spouse is essential to you, try to avoid having painful and illogical arguments with them. Keep in mind that maintaining the relationship is your first objective whenever you need to resolve a conflict. Accept personal variations. Not everything must be agreed upon. Recognize that your partner won't always sway their opinions to suit your preferences. Whether you agree with them or not, respect their viewpoints. What to do if peace is not found? 
you might adore your partner dearly. However, if you can't come to terms with each other and discover love, serenity, and understanding, the relationship may swiftly deteriorate. You can enhance your relationship's communication by being more self-aware. Your relationship will almost surely improve as you become more skilled at having constructive disagreements. Relationship problems are not always easy to fix on your own. Understanding the underlying difficulties can be aided by consulting a qualified therapist. They can teach you how to effectively communicate and help you deal with your partner-related thoughts and behaviors. It may make you feel ashamed and embarrassed if your relationship is having problems. These unfavorable feelings may make treatment more difficult. After all, opening up to a complete stranger can be difficult, especially in a professional atmosphere like a therapist's office. Online counseling might be a workable substitute for getting over these reservations. From the comfort of your home, discussing disagreements with your partner could be simpler. If you're thinking about getting treatment online, a study has found that it's equally as helpful as in-person therapy. Because they could concentrate more completely on their concerns, several couples found that internet therapy was more effective. Additionally, they stated that they felt less judged than they would have in conventional therapy. Clients generally preferred online treatment, despite the fact that there was a screen between them and the therapists.